everybody. Today I brought you some cool websites that I think you're going to love and um, as much as I did. Before I get into them, remember to visit aramistech.com at the end of the video to for more information regarding these uh, websites and where to download their software and the complete review for the, the actual um, applications I'm about to show you. Now the first one uh, is called Picklens and it's from picklens.com. Uh, the software is really neat. Um, it works for uh, the Firefox browser or for the Internet Explorer as well. So you can use either one. When you download the software, what it will do is, when you visit, let's say for example, a YouTube videos or you visit uh, Flickr, it will actually create what they call a wall and it, it does a really neat feature and I'm about to show you how it works and you will see in a minute uh, all the effects on it and everything and it's really neat. I'm going to show you ex an example of, from Flickr and from YouTube how these two videos work. Um, you definitely want to have uh, this website as one of your favorites uh, to download the software. It's only uh, it's a small software, you install it once and that's it. What I found also very neat about this software is that you can install it on your blog. Now, I found that your hosting company has to have PHP 5 to run that Picklens uh, plugin and you can put it on WordPress which is one of the most popular blogs out there um, and some other ones also. Um, remember that uh, I will give you more information about this, this is a little bit more technical but for all of you out there that do podcasting or do blogging it is a pretty neat feature because once you see what th this does with YouTube or Flickr for example you will see that it will work for you as well to do your videos and your photos on your sites to present them in a really nice way. So this is definitely a, one of the cool websites to visit. You definitely want to have this and, and, and um, you know every time you go somewhere that you visit the site you will see that it has a little, you know, you put your mouse over the, the photo or the video there will, you will see a little play button very small at the bottom and you see it here on the screen um, you will see that that same button and once you click on it it creates that wall and you can move back and forth and uh, preview what you want to uh, preview now with the videos what I found that was cool is that with YouTube videos all you have to do is just click on the video it plays it and it shows it to you uh, there's a little icon that you can click on that actually takes you to the video of that page or that photo to view it directly so you can do it if you want to just get out of the wall and, and do that but I found this a really neat thing if you have a nice computer and a big screen it definitely it, it's a must so that, the second website I want to talk about is Clipmarks it's from clipmarks.com now the software is also for your Firefox and again for the Internet Explorer um, it, what's neat about this software is Clipmarks allows you to take a uh, clip an area of let's say um, text on a site or photo or video and once you clip all this information together, you can post it onto a private uh, folder, so to speak, on, on their site uh, where you can preview this whenever you need to or uh, on a public site where everyone will have access to it. It's very neat, so if you find, let's say, a tip on the internet or some information you have and you'd like to share it with the community, you definitely put it there and you share it with the Clipmarks community and people can, can view it. It also works really cool on the iPhone. It, had, it shows you really neat the uh, function. It doesn't look like a regular website. It's formatted directly for the iPhone itself. Now, Clipmarks, it's a free software. Um, you definitely want to take a look at this one. It is really neat. Uh, it has um, those functions I found are, are really uh, perfect for me because uh, the fact that I can actually grab a clip and, and be able to you know save it and view it later, that's just perfect. I don't have to type it up or copy and paste the text into something and save it for later. I can just basically highlight it. Uh, and basically, all you have to do is just click on the little icon for clip marks and I'm showing you here in the video. Uh, you click on the, on the clip marks uh, icon and then choose the, the ones you want to highlight. And once you're ready, you click to, uh, to add it onto it and basically that's it. It uploads it into, into the, the actual site, their website. Um, this is accessible to you from anywhere. You can access it from your iPhone or you access it through your um, laptop or computer, wherever you are, you can access this information. If you make it public, like I said before, it's accessible to everyone, even your friends, which would be a really neat uh, function. So you definitely want to have a look at this. Remember, visit arabistech.com for more information about the Clipmarks website and uh, uh, links to their site. The third site that I want to go over with you is Evernote. Evernote, I found this the best one of all. 
at the time that I did this video you're watching, um, Evernote was not actually public. You have to go onto the site and request an invitation for it. And once they send you the invitation, you can sign up. So it's kind of like in a beta process right now, but I think it's one of the best on the wall. It's similar to Clipmarks uh, because you highlight the stuff and the text and just put add to Evernote and boom, you have it there. It creates like notes on their site, on the Evernote site. You can just log on through your iPhone or through your, uh, you know, the browser or your laptop, computer, anywhere you are, and you can access this information as well. This is not. It, what's different about this from Clipmarks is you don't make this public. This is all your private information, so you don't really turn it public. Um, what's neat about them that I love is in, in Evernote, you can go ahead and um, you know search for text within a photo, and actually it will find it for you. So if you have a lot of notes. This will help you find your notes or information from them. Um, I found that that is one of my favorite. Uh, I heard it on a, on a podcast that I listened to from Real Report, and I went there and I, I signed up and requested the stuff. And it took me about 24 hours to get a, um, a you know give me a login so I can get in there. Uh, so you definitely want to look at it, um, try it, and sign up for it. And like I said, it's completely free also. Um, hopefully they'll come up with the um, with it uh, you know without already like the full version uh, by the time for example the iPhone comes out or stuff like that I think they're working on all this stuff so uh, that is definitely a really neat site to take a look at so Evernote.com is one of the ones you want to look at remember just go to aramistech.com for information regarding all these sites and uh, links to back to them okay? some of them have downloads I will put you the links for download there so it makes it easier for you to just click and find where to go. So definitely look at Evernote and try to sign up for it, it's really neat. I'll be bringing you some more websites that I have lined up to show you. Um, and definitely one of the ones that uh, I'll mention to you later on is from um, Google, which bought um, a company called Grand Central. And I'm going to do a little special on that uh, pretty soon. And Grand Central is a pretty neat uh, stuff. You also have to get an invitation for that one. But um, uh, if you want, before you see my video, take a look at it. It's grandcentral.com. It's a neat way to keep your phone number. Uh, organized and uh, I won't tell you any more about it go find out yourself and I'll, I'll show you in another video more about that site thank you and appreciate you watching my videos